how to use the AOSP mod on TouchWiz based ROMs in case you don't like the stock touch TouchWiz uh, lock screen like the water type effect so what you're going to want to do is head on over to the link in the description and it will take you to this XDA thread and what you're going to want to download is the AOSP lock screen dot zip and the SEC settings AOSP lock screen add on dot zip now you can change the lock screen clock to blue and you can change the all clock like all the text on the lock screen to blue as well but I'll leave those options up to you and then if you want to go back to the stock touch with lock screen those zips are also there for you to flash so once you downloaded those two zips what you're going to want to do is reboot into your recovery so go to reboot go to recovery now if if you're on like a if you're on the stock ROM, just power off your phone and then once your phone is fully powered off, press and hold volume down, the home button and power to all at once to boot into recovery. Wait for this to boot up. And what you're gonna want to do is wipe cache and then wipe Dalvik cache. That is just so that there's no errors or anything like that. Wait for this to boot into recovery. I don't know why the Galaxy Note 2 takes so long to boot into recovery. Alright, and once you, I'm using Torp, but if you're using Clockwork Mod, just go down to a wipe cache and wipe Dalvik cache. And then once you wipe those, you're going to go back and you're going to go to install zip. And you're going to go to the downloads folder, which in case I use the XD app to download this. So I'm in the XDA folder, and you're going to want to go to the SEC settings, AOSP lock screen add-ons zip, and you're going to want to flash this one first. And once you are done flashing of that one, you're going to want to go back, the little back button, and then you're going to want to install the AOSP lock screen zip. And once you are done installing those, you're just going to want to reboot to the system. And once those are all installed, you should have an option under lock screen, which I'll show you guys when this boots up. Shouldn't take too long to boot up. This always seems like it's the longest part on this phone. Alright, and we get to the boot animation 20 seconds later. Now, if you don't like the boot animation on your ROM, don't forget to, that you can always change it. If you guys want to see a quick app review on an app to let you change your boot animation, just leave a comment down below. And now once you are you know, fully booted up, you're going to want to go to Menu, Settings, and you're going to want to scroll down to a Lock Screen. Now once you go to Lock Screen Options, you should see an option where it says Enable AOSP Lock Screen. Now as you've seen when we booted up, how it had the Touch Wiz, the water effect. Now we have the AOSP 4.1 Lock Screen. And everything works, you get the camera. takes a minute to activate but you get the camera you get Google now straight from the lock screen and you can change the color of the text and the clock from those other zips just flash those after you flash these two and that's how you enable the AOSP lock screen on your Samsung Galaxy Note 2